Eric is on the left in the middle. When I go, whenever that may be, God forbid, I could save another person's life. And that's why Luann Sergio says she signed up to donate her organs when she dies. The New York Organ Donor Network says just one organ donor can save up to eight lives and improve the lives of 50 others. With 200 Staten Islanders currently waiting for organ transplants, donors are in demand. Our donors are usually catastrophic injuries, sudden deaths, and the families have said over and over and over again that they could have never gotten through this tragedy without knowing that something good came out of it. The New York Organ Donor Network has partnered with Staten Island University Hospital to sign up as many organ donors in the area as possible, giving people on the wait list a better chance at life. The number of people waiting for a life-saving organ outnumber the amount of donors out there, so we'll never catch up. But if everyone became an organ donor, if that time ever came when they did meet the criteria, then I think the people on the waiting list would have more of a chance. While organ donation can be tough to talk about, events like this one give potential donors a chance to ask doctors and other professionals what it entails. We say to people is if you had the opportunity to save someone's life, would you? And nine out of ten people say yes, of course I would save someone's life if I could. Well, this is an opportunity to save someone's life through organ and tissue donation. If you'd like to be an organ donor, you can go to your local DMV office or go to www.donatelifenewyork.org. On Staten Island, I'm Yasmin Vesugian, New York One.